Well, hey everyone, this is Shirish and welcome back to my channel. Well, today I'm back with another one of the amazing universities, University of Durham in the UK. And if you're new to my channel, I'm a TEDx speaker and an entrepreneur with three successful companies. I have done my MS in computer science from the US and worked with top investment bank UBS Financials and then started my company to help students with career and college admission. Over the last decade with my company, we have delivered top results with students getting admission to Harvard, Stanford, MIT, Oxford, NUS, and all the top universities across the world. I've been featured on national television shows on Z News and my articles have been published in top international magazines. I've met with almost most of the admission officers myself and I've done admission program from UPenn on how to guide students for college admissions. In short, on my channel, you'll find strategies and tools that work. And I've been using these strategies with thousands of students for over a decade with huge success. And if you want to know more about me and my work and my company, you can check out the links in the description box. And as always, I have created an amazing college admission profile assessment. It is completely free to use. Just head to the link mentioned in the description box and get your profile evaluated for free. Now let's hit it up for Durham University. Hi, I'm Shirish Gupta and I empower people to hack their success, rise above the challenges and confidently create an extraordinary life they deserve. Durham University is a college at public research university in Durham, England, founded by an act of parliament in 1832 and incorporated by Royal Charter in 1837. Well, fun fact, it was the first recognized university to open in England for more than 600 years after Oxford and Cambridge and is thus one of the institutions to be described as the third oldest university in England. Okay, let's talk more about the university now. The main campus is located in Durham. Durham is situated in northeast England and is one of the most picturesque cities in the UK. The skyline is dominated by the 11th century cathedral and castle, which is a world heritage site. Durham is a world heritage city and the university's castle and cathedral have been designated as UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Durham is relatively small and all university departments, colleges and facilities are within walking distance of each other. The Queen's campus is located 20 miles from Durham. A free bus service runs daily between the two campuses. The most popular majors at Durham University include physics, chemistry, economics, law, psychology, engineering, philosophy, and geography. Well, although I'm not a big fan of judging a university solely on the basis of the ranking, it's amongst the top 100 universities in the world, currently ranked 92nd in QS World Rankings 2023. All right, let's now move on to our next section, talking about the right fit. Now, in this section, we always try to decode the personality of the university and try to put in all factors together for you to decide whether it will make a right fit for you or not. So let's start with academic fit. Academics at Durham are challenging. The university offers more than 200 undergraduate programs, about 190 postgraduate program under four faculties, arts and humanities, business, social science, and engineering and science. Durham operates a collegiate structure similar to that of University of Oxford and the University of Cambridge. The business school is triple accredited with the MBA program being ranked second globally in the world for value for money as per Financial Times ranking. Popular Durham University courses include physics, economics, law, psychology, and geography, as mentioned earlier as well. The teaching departments of the university are divided into four faculties, science, arts and humanities, social sciences and health, and the business school. Each faculty is headed by a pro-vice chancellor and one of more deputies. Research is an important part of academics at Durham. The university is a member of Russell Group of British Research Universities after previously being a member of 1998 Group. Durham is also affiliated with the regional NIT Research Partnership and International University Groups, including the Mataraki Network of Universities and a Coimbra Group. The faculty at Durham is best in the field, extremely experienced and well-qualified for their subjects. Students praise their effort faculty makes to take all the classes themselves. The class size at Durham is small. The class system works in seminars and roundtable kind of discussion tables, making most of the classes up to 20 students. So keeping all this in mind, I would like to add Durham with four stars on academic difficulty level and quality level. Five is the highest level. After academic fit, let's move to social fit. Well, social life is amazing. Durham has a range of shops and restaurants with a daily indoor market and a much larger outdoor market twice a week. Colleges in Durham provide activities and facilities for sports, study, arts, socializing, relaxation, and welfare. Approximately 200 student clubs and organizations run on Durham's campuses, covering academic, arts, culture, and faith, hobbies, games, outdoors, politics, law, and music interests. 
The DSU, which is Durham Student Union, runs a comedy cafe, freshers ball, silent disco, and vintage fashion. Alumni dinners are with formal members are also very common. Durham University has about 19,000 students, about 14,000 are undergrad and remaining as PG and PhD. Over 30% of students are non-UK origin international students from over 120 countries represented in the staff and student bodies, creating a diverse community. Housing is good for most students. It offers a range of accommodation options for undergraduate and postgraduate students. Generally, students will live in their college for the first year, move into private accommodation in the second year, and then have the option of returning to the college halls for the final year of study. Most postgraduate students prefer to live off campus nearby. The quality of food is amazing as well. The variety is huge. They provide fully catered accommodation with reasonable priced meal plans. The food quality is good and a lot of off-campus food beverage options are available. Durham University is big on sports as well. The university caters to more than 50 different sports organized under the umbrella name of Team Durham, with many being predominantly based at the Graham Sports Center at Maiden Castle. This facility has 26 courts and pitches for sports ranging from rugby to lacrosse to netball. Additional facilities include 11 boat houses, two astroturfs, a fitness studio, and a weight room Durham University offers. So overall, it offers comparative and good social life. I would like to give it four stars out of five on quality of life at Durham. Now let's look at the financial fit. Durham University falls in an affordable school category. The expenditure is about 20,000 to 25,000 pounds in annual tuition expenses without scholarship. Some clinical years of medicine and dentistry course can go anything up to 47,000 GBP annually. Now, housing and dining may fall about 10 to 12,000 pounds range for the most. As far as financial is concerned, the university has a lot of scholarship op options. Merit scholarships averaging 5,000 pounds, international students are eligible for merit scholarship as well. In fact, Durham offers great scholarships including Fulbright scholarships and Commonwealth Master's scholarships that provide full tuition fee plus monthly stipend and airfare as well. There are many scholarships that can help you study with 100% scholarships at Durham. Make sure to visit the university website and check for your eligibility for these scholarships. And you can study free with these amazing scholarships at Durham. So overall, I would like to give it four stars out of five. With my special admission tips and strategies, the ideas I'm going to share now come from my decade-long experience working with students for career and college admission and helping them apply to the top university. As far as admissions are concerned, Durham University evaluates everything from academics as well as co-curriculars and overall profile for holistic review. The acceptance rate last year was about 40% overall, but highly selective during the evaluation process. Durham is known to inspire its students and to challenge them as well. And if you're aligned with these values, you can absolutely get in done. Talk about leadership, curiosity, and your impact in your application. For admission to Durham, academic grades are probably most important. For undergrads, if you apply for UGs, you apply through UCAS and PGs, they have a Durham portal. You need amazing grades within the range of 85 to 95% or a GPA of above 3.5 out of 4 and about 36 to 38 IB points for UG and for PG admission for GPA is about 7 and above out of 10. Other than that, you need two stellar recommendations and a statement of purpose. Some of the candidates that are not able to make it directly are sometimes given conditional admissions with foundation courses or pathways to become eligible for the course. Well, do your thorough research before starting the application process for whether you qualify for direct admission or not. Now, most of the courses do not require any SAT or ACT, but postgraduates might still have to take GRE or GMAT, although most programs have optional requirements for GRE GMAT, but still check for your specific program. Durham University also requires all international students to present English proficiency, so I would recommend taking IELTS UKVI as it is more recognized and accepted among the colleges in the UK. You will need an IELTS score between 6 to 7 for most programs, but focus on getting 7 and above. Now, as for deadlines. For admission into undergraduate programs, Durham offers one deadline in January through UCAS portal, but applications are accepted from September onwards. All the documentation is submitted separately to the university through their own means, although deadlines can extend up till April and May at times also. For all postgraduate courses, they have individual department deadlines with either one or two deadlines between September and April every year, but most of the programs go with rolling deadlines as well. Well, in the end, to conclude, if you are creative, innovative, hardworking, fun-loving, research-oriented, like living in cold weather, Durham University is for you. And yes, remember to complete your profile evaluation as discussed in the beginning of this video and get your personalized report for free. And yeah, it is one tool that will help you in your college admission journey. And I'm here for you, with you on this journey of college admission. 
If you need any assistance, me and my team are here to help you. I would also recommend you to watch this video as your next video. Make sure to like and subscribe and never miss an important video on college admission, high potential careers and tips and strategies to build your best life. I call it extraordinary life. Well, I love you. I'm with you on this beautiful journey to build your best life. See you very soon.